Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all well. Today we'll talk about the one of the important topic in the application development called uh, Glide Ajax. Okay, so although you can say that it's so we are talking about the script include also because in Glide Ajax we need the script include. So we will talk about that Glide Ajax. Okay. Uh, normally Glide Ajax have two types of Ajax, uh, Glide Ajax, one is the synchronous Ajax, another is the asynchronous Ajax, so we'll talk both those points today, okay. So let's see, this is the, our application development training, so you know that we are developing the hospital management application, right. So in this hospital management, what we are, uh, what I actually did, I create a field called phone, okay, and this phone number should be fetched from the user record, okay. So how it will be fetched that? So whenever you type some name in this user form, like um, if you type the Rohit in this, so it should automatically go and check in the sys user table and if the phone number is exist, it should bring the data and store to the phone number field and it will be automatically make the read only, the phone number field will be read only. Okay, so that will be our requirement. Suppose I to type the Rohit, it should bring the phone number one to four, uh, this phone number and bring and store in this phone number field and the phone number field should be read only okay so that we, that is our requirement so let's get to build the glide ajax first of all you need to write a client script so why we need the ajax ajax is that we are trying to call the server side data right in the cc user table we are trying to call the service side server side data from the client side right so that need, that is the reason we need the ajax okay so whenever we are we are trying to fetch some information from the client side to the server side at that time we need the ajax okay so let's do that first we have to create a client script so i am going to uh, type the client script here and then i am going to create a client script So in the client script, if you see, I am building a custom application. So definitely in the right side, my application name is hospital. So if you are building in the global application, your name, the application name will be global. So here we are trying to put that get user mobile number. Okay. So this is the name here. We need to put the table name. I am going to put that uh, patient record. Okay, and here type I am setting as all and then here is the thing the type what should be the type we have to select that so if you see that here um, we have a um, so what will be the situations so whenever someone put the type the name and then uh, change like the field happens change the value should be get it from that background script. So in the client script we are selecting the type of the client script is the on change and here we should select the field on which field changes the client script will run so i am selecting that uh, name so whenever the name change will happen the client script will be run okay now what we have to do in this client script if we type something uh, called okay uh, you will see that the, the changes is running so whenever someone put some name in this field the client script will be run so next steps is that we should run uh, which should write a script include so go back to the script include module in the left side so we should create a new script include click the new and then we should create a script include make sure that in the script include you check the client call level otherwise this script include cannot be work for your glide ajax so I am just putting that um, so script include name I am putting that user details and so once I click here you can see by default the uh, some script is done right so what we have to do in this brass case we need to define the function the function name so get user phone so that is my function name okay colon function and as it is a uh, client callable right we cannot directly use some parameter inside that so it's a client callable we cannot add some uh, direct parameter here okay now flip to your uh, client uh, script and here you need to write some script okay 
so now in the script uh, client script what we have to write we have to write some uh, code so that it can call our script in front. first of all what i am writing here pa var ga like glide ajax equal to new glide ajax so it is a object that i am defining and here i should put the um, script include name so i put that sys um, uh, user details that script include name now what we have to do next we have to put that g dot add param and here here we need to put the sys param underscore name equal to the function name okay the function name is our case is get user phone so we'll put that and paste here function name okay next ga dot add param sys uh, param underscore user here we'll put that g underscore form dot get value we'll get the value from the form and what value will pass will pass the name okay now save that so after save that uh, we are just think about that we are passing this data to a script include right we are passing the we are calling the script include using the user details and we are calling the function called get user phone and we are passing the current forms in the current form whatever value inside the name we are passing that value in the script include now we should receive the data to receive the data we have to type ga dot get xml and inside that we need to put the callback function what is the callback function so whenever the form will be load the function will be whenever the changes will be happens um, it will pass the data to that uh, script include and then whenever script include will return it will um, pass a callback it will pass and call the callback function we will put, put the name is equal to callback okay and these functions definition we need to define here function call callback okay and these functions have one parameter called response so inside the response whatever data we will receive basically the script include what we will write basically we will write that where user equal to this dot get parameter here we will put that sys param underscore user and we will check that actually this data is actually populated or not ok so so now if I go back to my patient record and in this patient record um, what I will do I will change that name to my name and click the tab press the tab so whenever I press the tab it will call a client on change client script from the on change client script it will be called the script include and the script include will put a uh, info message in the logs a table so let's see that so now you can see in the logs table it is showing my name okay so what I am going to do in the in this script further I'll just remove this info message and I'll do a glide record on um, the CC user table okay a glide record and CC underscore user table and what I will do I'll do a gr dot add query and in this query I'll put that name equal to my user uh, whatever I am receiving now I'll do a query and then if gr dot next it means that if the record is found what will return that will return the gr dot um, what is the field name the mobile underscore phone so mobile underscore phone will return okay in case if there is no number okay what will return will return as a false you can uh, put that uh, return as a null value also okay now save our uh, script here and now go back to our client script and where what we have to update here we need to define a uh, variable called answer 
and in this answer what we will do response dot response xml dot document element and dot get attribute and inside that we will put the answer and here I will put a alert message here and then I will put the alert as a answer. Let's save our client script and go back to our patient record and refresh the patient record. Now change to name to Rohit and then refresh that. It is giving me my phone number, right? Now remove this alert here and check the field name is phone. So remove this alert here and just replace with g underscore form dot set value equal to uh, phone and then answer. Along with that, put g underscore form dot set read only and then put the phone. And also, let's save that and refresh here. Now, if we put our name here, Rohit, it should collect that phone number and it should set here so it is setting here the phone number is setting here but somehow it is uh, not making read only so I should put the read only true and save that now refresh the form again and type my name and do you can see the form is right now read only what happens if we put something what happens so nothing is happening setting the value is false that what we don't need what we will do if answer equal to equal to false we'll do that the value will set as a blank and will mark as a false and then else we will do this one okay so what we are doing right now if the value somehow getting false will make the phone number equal to empty and the read only will make that uh, false if the value is there then we will put the value and make it true so let's save that and refresh our form again Now here we will put my name and then press tab you can see this value is getting as a read only and then if I put some other value and press enter you can see the value is getting clear and it is now editable. For example this is the asynchronous asynchronous uh, Ajax. So I am just giving you the synchronous Ajax. I can't use the synchronous Ajax in my scoped application. In the scoped application and in the service portal you cannot use the synchronous ajax but i will just give you a just example that for synchronous ajax what we have to do in the synchronous ajax what we have to do ga dot get xml uh, way you need to type that first so until unless the response we will receive from the system the system will be block that uh, data and then what we have to do in the alert if you want you can get the value ga dot get answer is the is the function that will give you the answer but i can't use this uh, this uh, function here because it's a scope application in the scope application and in the portal you cannot use the get xml weight okay that is the limitation I hope you guys are uh, like my video. So thank you very much. Have a great day.